Good afternoon. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip Thursday, the 18th of June. A bit later today. Why am I just, I don't know, get myself organised. Um, Ascot Day 3, bloodbath yesterday, isn't it? I'll come to that in a minute. Um, I've got a new diet. I've got a new diet. Yesterday, I managed to forget to eat completely. How can you manage to forget to eat? Genuinely, I got up about half oh, four, quarter to five. Um... Did everything. Sam had her sister over doing some bits, and then I had a Zoom thing in the evening. Then I watched um, Arsenal Man City. Oh, Man City Arsenal. I told you they'd stuff them. I, I was absolutely certain they'd get stuffed last night. Um, we'll find out what they're all about over the next few weeks. I thought they'd get absolutely hammered. Lewis was a clown, wasn't he? But just City were a different gravy to them. Um, could have had five, six, seven, couldn't they? I, I did say it, I said it in the morning I thought they would get absolutely pulverised um, thought City were big price for the game um, where were we where were we where were we where were we yeah oh yeah yeah and then um, yeah we went upstairs about half ten and Sam said what did you have for dinner I said I haven't had any dinner come to think of it I didn't have any lunch and I rarely have breakfast anyway I'll occasionally have a um bit of fruit but I didn't have anything so I had nothing to eat at all and didn't even realize I hadn't eaten there you go new diet don't need any of this keto or any fads just don't bother at all um ridiculous absolute nonsense how can you forget to eat um I forgot a lot of things yesterday I forgot that the golf and I've posted those on twitter so there's some golf bets on twitter that's just teed off I think just started the RBC heritage um, I forgot to mention that um, FTS Ultimate is open to the end of the season. That's available on the website. Um, all the games, you've got all the data already. You know, you get access to all the data that's there, six, seven years data, plus on sheets, the whole lot. So you can have access to that, and then you'll get everything for every game for the rest of the season. Um, that'll stay, keep that open for this week while Serie A gets going and I'll close that down next week. So if you want to join Ultimate, if you're not a member and see what it's about, um, you can get in relatively cheap to the end of the season and see how it goes. Um, as I say, and ask on the forum. The guys are great on there, the guys who use it. Um, so that is on the website. Uh under the menu he says because he doesn't know his own website um under uh betting systems fts ultimate membership so in the top menu betting systems fts ultimate membership if anybody wants to join to the end of the season that's where you'll find it uh, obviously nothing obligatory all at your own peril and choice um but good bunch of guys to help you out if you do want to um, and today is the last day of the FTS Fantasy Dog League. Thanks all of you who've um, partaken. I haven't had a massive amount to do with it other than getting it going. Um, Chrissy Spreadsheet set it up. Brian's been doing the results and updating every day. Um, there will be a thorough, thorough data check of the results when we get the winner, but the winner will get ultimate membership for next season foc and currently blade man stan um i hope it makes up i haven't seen it for um apparently the debacle last night with goal line technology um i find it staggering to be honest that uh, it didn't work or whatever so I've, I've seen numerous reports but by all accounts it just didn't work um whatever the goalkeeper the post or whatever happened to get in the way um, I mean, how expensive could that be? If Villa, imagine if Villa, Villa stay up by a point or two, or Sheffield United miss out on Champions League football by a point or two, um, all because we can't actually give a goal when it's scored. I find it, I find it staggering. That's why I like technology because I like the fact that if you score a goal, it should be given. That's my main view on it. Um, and staggeringly this thing didn't work or I mean I don't even know i would be interesting to see the review but I don't know how nothing can be done in that circumstance as I say I didn't watch the game I don't know I've seen numerous things that VAR's not allowed to get involved in stuff like that well why not if it's a, I mean that's if it's over the line and that's that one bit of technology's failed use another bit to correct it for goodness sake um 
I am assuming, I haven't seen it, but I am assuming it was clearly over the line. I've certainly seen nobody debate that. So, um, yeah, so, but Blade Man Stan is a naturally a Blades fan, but um, I hope it all works out for you, Lee. I really do. Um, right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Yeah, so the Fantasy Dog League, that's what I was going. Yeah, he's leading. Um, so we'll have the results of that tomorrow. As I say, there'll be a thorough data check. Um, but thank you to everybody. I think some of you have really enjoyed it. Um, different approaches, people just having a full-on wagon up, trying to get as much as they can and going bust, thinking they could sail in front and win it. Other people taking a real analytical approach and going through it. Fair play to you. Um, yeah, so that is something that we may uh, we may revisit. I mean, obviously we did it just because lockdown and there was no sport on, but um, we'll have a look perhaps at the start of next season, see what the football calendar looks like, and we may be able to do something. I think it's quite a good idea with a bit of dummy data for people to have a play around and get used to looking at data and trying to do things slightly differently. Um, right, let's do Ascot. Uh, I've put some horses on Twitter as always, but there's no... Ascot qualifiers there. We've had a bit of rain, so it could be a difficult day today. Um, you might see some non-runners across the country, and uh, just be careful. As always, caution. Caution is advised. Um, right, 115, three I like. Um, one up in the head of the bedding, Maori Knight. And then a couple of nice prices, Yahayeti and Cepheus. Cepheus ridden by Jim Crowley, who's already had a decent week. Um, in fact, I got Jim Crowley a few times today. Um, not through wanting him, just that's how it's panned out. Uh, so the 115 Maori Knight, Yahayati and Cepheus. Um, and then the 150 Regal Reality, uh, Crossed Baton and Fox Tie. Again, Fox Tie up near the head of the bedding at two at half decent prices. Regal Reality and Cross Baton. 225, I've just got two. Um, which is, which are final song and Molotham. A um, couple of nice sort of nice sort of prices I like about eight nine to one. Uh, final song and Molotham. Three o'clock. I've only got two. Um, again, both under both single figure ones. Uh, Golden Flame and Bright Devil. Uh, Frankie and Washin Murphy. Uh, good young talent, washing. Um, 3.35 is uh, the Stayers, which is um, Stradivarius. So again, a horse I'd like to see win. Um, but at odds on, I'm not going to be getting uh, massively involved. But I've got a couple that I like at prices to, to give him a run, if you like. Um, and that are Nayef Road at which is currently nineteen, Ryan Moore's mount, and Cross Counter uh, James Doyle's mount at fifteen point five. You may just want to leave the race and watch Stradivarius. You may want to back those place only. Um, but Nayef Road and Cross Counter are my opposition, if you like, to Stradivarius. But I do expect him to go and get the job done today. Um, and let's hope that he does. Another winner for Frankie if he does. Um, that's the 335 and then we've got 335, 410 uh, 410 I have got um, 3 at, at double figure prices, well Betfair uh, Carlucci's 10 uh, so it's 9 to 1 in effect but we've got Star Cat currently 17 and a half Dubai Mirage 22 and Carlucci at 10 that's in the 410 and then the lucky last the 440 uh, three big prices. Um, get out of jail stakes this one. Odyssey Girl, Onassis and Wejdan. Odyssey Girl, Onassis and Wejdan in the 440. All at reasonable prices. Um, and so that's it for Ascot. So just run through them quickly again. Maori Knight, Yahai Arti and Cepheus in the 115. Regal Reality, Crossbat and Foxtail in the 150. Final Song, Malatham in the 225. Golden Flame, Bright Devil, 3 o'clock. Nayef Road, Cross Counter in the 335. Star Cat, Dubai Mirage, Carlucci, 410. Odyssey Girl, Anassis and Wejdan, 440. Uh, at your own peril, good luck if you play. Um, hope some of you have had a good 
Ascot to Blood Bath yesterday. Um, and we then have some Fuspal um, today. Um, I have got, uh, what have I got? Uh, I've got a first half goal bet in Sweden at 6 o'clock, Hacken versus Malmo. So for nil nil on 22 minutes, Hacken Malmo, drip laying, uh, sorry, 25 minutes, drip laying a first half goal, Hacken Malmo, nil nil on 25 minutes. Um, and also uh, Boa Vista Sechibal, uh, same bet, Boa Vista Sechibal. Um, nil nil then drip lay a first half goal Boa Vista set your bow uh, again 25 minutes ish around then drip it in 25 to 35 minutes so Hacken Malmo and Boa Vista set your bow 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock respectively um, that is that um, right that's it I'm off I'm off I'm going to um, I'm going to leave you to it have a good um Thursday, enjoy um, Ascot, and I will be back with you all uh, tomorrow morning after we've done the football process. And to not tomorrow night, the great spuds take to the stage, don't they? Isn't it dreadful without any crowd? Isn't football without crowds absolutely awful? I mean that that sound through flipping um, sky rubbish because it doesn't go with the flow of the game. So absolute nonsense. And then you turn it over to the dead silent bit. Um, and that's rubbish as well. I turned the volume right off because I can't even bear the commentator. So I just sat and watched City paced Arsenal in silence. Beautiful. Um, right. Have a lovely um, Thursday. And I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. <laughs>